Hi, my name is Jason Chaco and I'm an Applications Engineer at Regal Technologies. Today I'm going to be introducing the NFP3 series of near-field probes for use with Regal Spectrum Analyzers. Uh, really, this comes with everything that you need to perform near-field near EMI uh, troubleshooting on enclosures and boards. It allows you to quickly locate interference sources. The kit comes with a handy carrying case, two near-field probe loops, one line probe and one point probe, as well as cable and adapter for connection to your spectrum analyzer input. The main use for these probes would be troubleshooting EMI sources on boards and enclosures. Hi, my name is Jason Chanko and I'm an Applications Engineer at Regal Technologies. Today I would like to introduce the EMI-DSA-800 option for the Regal DSA-800 series of spectrum analyzers. These features provide a more accurate representation of device performance under fully compliant EMI test conditions. Included in this kit are the EMI filter, the quasi-peak detector, and the EMI resolution bandwidths of 120 kilohertz, 9 kilohertz, and 200 hertz. Using these configurations, we can collect data that is going to be closer to compliance data and decrease our time to market by passing compliance testing more quickly. The Regal S1210 EMI pre-compliance software is a PC application developed to ease conducted and radiated pre-compliance measurements when used in conjunction with the Regal DSA series spectrum analyzer. The software contains all of the associated drivers to connect remotely to your instrument. On the left side of the window there are a number of labels that help to configure the scan and also monitor the performance of your system. The configuration summary shows all of the instrument settings, environmental, and other setup parameters that may be important to your final pre-compliance report. The correction config area displays the correction factors that are currently applied to the instrument. The available corrections can be tied to separate preamp, antenna, listen, attenuator, cable, and correction array files. The scan config area contains two limit line selections, pre-scan detector and trigger modes, and trigger types. It also contains the final scan settings for the detector resolution bandwidth and trigger types. The segment config area is where you can configure each scan segment. It contains the start and stop frequencies for each step, sweep points, as well as the resolution bandwidth setting for each step. You can add and delete segments by simply right-clicking in the segment window and then entering the proper values in each field. The graph config area contains the axes control for the graphical display of the data. You can set the maximum and minimum values as well as set the frequency scale for log or linear. You can also set the amplitude units as dBm, dB microvolts, dB microamps, or dB picowatts. The measure area displays the results of the scan. Here you can see the scan data, limit lines, as well as any peaks that are over the limit. The peaks are also indicated in the peak table located at the bottom of the page. The report area allows you to add other data that may be important to your report, including environmental and test information. Once you have configured the test, you can use the main toolbar to control the steps of the test. Here you can start and stop the pre-scan and perform a peak search on the scan data. You can also use the data manager to create and edit correction files, as well as the limits. Once the test is complete, you can then use the print icon to issue a final report on the performance of your product. We hope that this video has shown you how the Regal S1210 pre-compliant software can efficiently help you solve your conducted and radiated pre-compliance issues and ultimately help you get to market faster. Thank you.